Peter to get into game one. Nitro, of course, with the Joker pick. I haven't seen him play a lot of this uh, Joker lately. Yeah, he kind of dropped uh, Richter for Joker. Really? Yeah. Oh. Which is good news for me because I, I can beat his Joker, but I can't beat his Richter. So, hit again. Sorry, I'm not. Hit again. The Joker definitely, it's a better matchup spread across the board, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Joker has a lot stronger tool, I'd say, but. I mean, that Richter, though, like, it is. It Nitro was, had a Richter. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Nitro was, like, the Richter player. Exactly, yeah. That's why I'm surprised he's dropping it. But, hey, you know, maybe he'll, he'll uh, come back to him. I mean, I could see him pulling it out maybe as, like, a counter pick if his, like, Joker gets, like, completely bodied or slammed. But, you know, I, I just don't see that happening with, like, his skill level and, like, the tool that Joker has. Yeah. I'm just considering how, like, consistently like, good as a player he is. Yeah. You know, like, here's the Arsene, so time is ticking, you know, and this is where you either have to play one or two games. You have to either play, I'm going to rush you down and let you, like, not breathe, or I'm just going to slowly run away from you until Arsene disappears. And I love what, what Tater Nader did right there, because, you know, Jokers love to go for that uh, downward gun, so he hit underneath the battle, the, 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 the stadium platform, so that like he couldn't snap to the ledge. Okay. Okay. Tater Nair is just like he's not gonna do it, and Nitro's just like bet. I said I'm not gonna do what? Huh? And again, there's the up airs into the air, and you know what? All this damage let him get Arsene. Wow, that's a lot of damage now. Yeah. Arsene just slowly just burning away at his life. Oh, Did I say slowly burning away? I mean like in a fiery inferno because Tainanator is bleeding. A good amount of speed. He's taking yeah. away that life. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was so oh, good. God, yeah. What is it? <laughs> then they're doing the, uh, what's the strategy of how to take care of every single smash attack in the game. Just wait on the platform. Yeah. I mean, when Joker's on like that low gauge, like you might as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I love that. Just spinning out right before he landed because he knows like, okay, he's probably gonna uh, Arsene Rebel guard right here. It's the fair. Gets the fair, and it. Oh, I love what he was trying to go for. He was trying to uh, catch the recovery low, but Nitro went high and avoided the down, the up beat. Ooh, that's a risky grab. I guess it wasn't that risky. Pretty more accurate word. He's really going for it. Yeah. Aw, oh, Fader also wants it up there. Can you see that little gold forward up there? And again, can't punish that forward smash. And now Arsene is out to play. He was off stage, and now there comes the gun. And nice. nice Yet again, man. just stealing that from Nitro. Like, you thought you could edge guard me, but little did you know, I have a big wand, and I'm not afraid to use it. Little did you know, you were the one being edge guarded. Yeah. Hmm. Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. I can do 50%, but Nitro's just like, oh, okay, I, I have 150. Yeah. You have 150, <laughs> and I. <laughs> I almost have a uh, percent. Look at that. We're back to where we were like five, like 15 seconds ago. <laughs> he, <laughs> he grabbed the Mecha Koopa with the grappling hook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I want to see Tater Nair do? Right over his head. You know what I want to see Tater Nair do? I want to see him throw out the Mecha Koopa while he's trying to grappling hook and it grabs the, the Mecha Koopa and, and not the ledge. <laughs> yeah. Blocks the ledge with the Mecha Koopa. That'd be, that'd Dude, that'd be like the biggest sure. upgrade play yeah, right there. That, that's too smart for, for Tater to ever do, I think, on purpose. <laughs> If he ever did that, I would never credit him for doing it on purpose, even if he said he did. Are you kidding me? I feel like if you would go, if you would go for it, like it would have to be very, very deliberate, because you would, it would have to bounce off off the ledge in order to do so. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It'd be really tough to get for sure. All right. And again, just getting stuffed out by Joker aerials. I can totally see the, the, tra the transition of, from Richter slash Belmont to uh, this Joker because he's just playing a, a, a lot of the keep away game and he would be playing with Belmont where he kind of runs away for a bit, throws up projectiles, and fakes you into the face of the you know? Oh. 
I love what he tried doing there. He tried reflecting the Mecha Koopa, but unfortunately it didn't. It was the same thing where, where Ian tried to reflect it and it didn't do anything, and then he just got punished for it. Oh, wow, he just snuck in that back air. Big, big hitbox. Yeah. Oh, and managed to get a clean 30% off of the little life that Joker that or some had left. And I am mad that he fell out of board smash. <laughs> no. No, nice nitro dog. Those guns are so oppressive. Right? It's so difficult to maneuver around them because they just sit so the momentum. Oh wow, I I love that. Just because like he, he's trying to throw it out and then like he just caught the right timing of when he dropped the rebel guard. This is definitely getting to the point right now where they're just throwing out back here hoping to kill one of each other. But the thing about Orsen is that, oh my god, I love that. He went for the grab because he knows that the the active hitbox of Orsen would like cause problems. I'm surprised that Nair didn't hit him. Eh, probably doesn't give him really very much like the startup of the move. Good grab. Or throw killing at like almost 200%. Something better. <laughs> I can't tell if Nitro is purposefully trying to grab his second group, because if he is, you know, congratulations, smartest man ever. That was dirty. Dude, pulling <laughs> off the MK Lail to drag down up air to up smash because you're in so much hit stun. Because you can. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you wanted to nerf Joker, like, that would be like the one thing you would have to nerf, is the amount of hit stun that you were in after up, uh, up air. Let's take him out of the game. Nah, he's pretty really funny. He's a fun character. I, I like Joker. He's interesting for sure. Yeah. Very unique character. Like, here's the thing about Joker. Like, Joker is basically the sheet of Ultimate. Oh my lord, oh. that was silly. He also Where? went for a counter off save. That was very odd. Right. Yeah, he gets extra stock. You know, you do do. So. Ooh. Like, ooh. 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 Yet again, know it. He ate 54%, but that's just like 90% of Rebellion gauge. Ooh. And oh, now Rebellion. Up again. Oh, yep. Jesus. <laughs> it's like at least you're guaranteed to get it once for stock. All right. <laughs> oh my God! Just lets it full jab. Oh my God! No, that's die. not. I was about to say like if that killed, I'd be oh, very, yes. very angry. Oh my God! I, I thought. <laughs> so close. In the back air. Oh, he's not gonna get re-grab though. Oh, he oh yeah. Nice to see that. Before. He's yeah. gonna back throw him. Come on. And oh. I, you know, I like what he and did he there guard? because he, he basically knew that, like, okay, he's probably gonna wait for me to to grab ledge again, but I can like just stay down here underneath this umbrella of like safety and like. Not oh. No. oh. Oh God. No, that oh. that was. A uh, trap if I've ever seen one. I loved that. That was amazing. <laughs> that was the best thing Tatonator's ever done ever. That was oh no, wonderful. I've, I've seen I've seen better plays, but that was that, that was, was definitely so like mind gaming. That was perfect. That was definitely like <laughs> top five, one of the most cheeky things I've seen from Tatonator do. Timed it so that he waited out for the air dodge. Perfect. I don't even know if Tatonator planned on that, but who cares? It was amazing. That was absolutely great. Yeah. You know what the, the, the game plan after that was, though? Is that if he air dodged the explosion, he would have gone out and paired him for it. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Okay. Don't the I, I guess that way. There we go. Nice 8% link. All right. Okay, yeah. never mind. It goes into 40. Six. Six. And here's a rapid jab. And you know what? Oh my god, that was unfortunate. I thought I thought he had our send, so like, okay, this rapid jab will get rid of a lot of rebellion gauge, and then I was wrong. It, it, like that that rapid jab gave up our send. Oh yeah, no, they didn't take it away. Put Arsen right at his front doorstep, really. Oh my god, he didn't believe. He didn't believe, but you know what? Nitro was not quick enough on the punish for it. Safe landing down there. Jab him a couple times, get him a to make his round. Uh, yeah, I feel like he does that a lot where he goes for the grab release just because he knows that the Mechic is coming back. And I love that using the spin out because he knows that he was going to roll away. Yeah. Very good punish. Tech base, some would say. 
there's the up throw to up air, and yet again, there's a clean 50% off of, like, one confirm. I don't think these closes hit him first. It didn't. It's good SDI then by yeah. Nitro. I mean, it was either SDI out and get hit by the Mecha Koopa, or SDI in and get hit by more the, the Rapid Jab. Okay, I don't know. I didn't see what happened. Yeah. Stage blocked it, but something cool happened for sure. I mean, basically, Nitro tried going for Nair. He got hit by the upbeat in box a bit. Oh, okay, all right. That killed? Excuse me? So, uh, you know, one down. I mean, like, I know it's a strong move, but I guess, like, 180% rage, like, will do that to you. I mean, yeah, when you have, like, 100, 200% of rage, he just throws it out. That's just like, you're going to drop shield now. Bet. And now here comes the carnival ride. And you see that? He's just like, I know I'm going to throw out this clown ride. It's not going to be true here. So you're going to air dodge or you're going to counter. And I'm going to continue it up again. Do whatever I want. And all that, oh my god, all that gauge just disappeared. And he nares him on top of it. He's done. He's done. Oh my god. Dude, Tatenator has downloaded Nitro's Joker at this point. You know, when me and Tater used to play Melee, he uh, used to try and always tell me the merits of like weak Fal Falcon Fair. I mean, Falcon Fair in this weak. game is, still, like, even the weak one is, like, stupid good. Like, Tater would constantly make it a point with his Falcon to try and kill you by gimping you off stage with weak Falcon knee. Not not strong hit Falcon knee, you know, the cool thing. Yeah. Purposefully trying to go for weak hit Falcon knee. So, you know, that Nair right there, perfect. Perfectly and, in line with Tater. Yep, <laughs> and now we see him going back to the uh, Ricker. And I was talking about this earlier. Like, he's probably going to stay Joker unless he gets totally blasted out like he did uh, right there in Game 3. Take this. Really putting on the pressure right now. Nitro's definitely gonna have to make something happen with a different character to take his butt. Tater's very familiar with him. And again. Oh my lord. Like, Nitro's not the only Richter in SoCal. We also have T3 Dome. And you know what? Tater Nair does have a winning record on T3 Dome, too. So. And Barry. He's gonna get punished over the fat ass. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Holy fire. Tater, that is. I'm sure Nitro likes it. And I love that, using the side B to just pop over the axe. Take this. And you know what, that, that holy water, you know, kind of working against him. And he tried air dodging the stage. And it, I don't know why he tried air dodging the stage instead of just tempering the stage. Yeah, this other would have been much safer. He shouldn't have done something to go for that instead. Yeah. Yeah. It was totally going to be looking for that punish. I mean, I could understand, like, okay, you're worried about the, the runoff there. But, like, I feel like the tether would have been quick enough to, like, avoid that. Yeah. Do you have to double parry this cross like that? Uh, it does come back, so okay, yes. Okay, all right, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it depends on, like, if you get at the very end where, like, it's on its way back, oh, or yeah, no. Oh, like, just sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, if you if it comes, like, if it comes past through you, then, it, like, it comes back and it's not. And you're, like, occupying the space where it's, like, doing the spinning thing. Yeah. Right. Now, the converse to that is that you can reflect it, and you can reflect it on both ways when it comes back, so... And, like, no matter which way it comes back, if it goes forward or if it goes back, it'll still be reflected back towards the way it was thrown. Yeah. It's starting to feel like a test of who's better at throwing out the best projectile. Yeah. Maybe Mecha Koopa or Cross. Yeah. I mean, that oh, axe is, like... That axe is super strong, but you know what? Tatenator is very much aware, well aware of like the arc it goes in, so he's very much like, okay, I know you can get me here, so I'm just gonna delay my thing with the side B, and I'll double jump it, but I see something else. Yeah, Nitro could really, uh... I don't know how I'm gonna feel about things, but I don't, I don't feel like he's really utilizing the next scooper that much. You know, when you grab Tatenator's next scooper, he's not really utilizing that next combo, so he's able to reach. Oh, gosh, man. Oh, dirty. You know, I, it would have been the coolest thing if he had gone like that up there afterwards and then, like got even more percent off of that. Oh yeah. Nitro though, the really smart escape though with that up beat. All right. Poor Mecha Koopa. Oh, he tried air dodging to avoid the Mecha Koopa, but you know what? It still found him anyways because it still keeps on moving. I don't target. Yeah. And 
here comes the Mecha Koopa, or the Mecha Car. Yet again, you know, T3 Dome is just really struggling to, like, set up this wall because, you know, Hidden Air just was able to break through it so easily. And just when you think he's, like, gone and, like, he can't break in, he just does that and just throws out all your defensive plans out the window. Oh, my lord. Hey, he's fine. He's still the car. With compression. Yep. Yet again, you know, you try throwing out that axe, but then the Mecha Koopa just like sneaks its way in. You know the angle of the axe and you know, check for the others, throw the mask behind it. That's Tatanator, obviously. Oh, yeah. Tatanator, very comfortable in this matchup, you know. Just keeping his wall up so well that Nitro just has been struggling to find this kill, you know. So we saw that with the first stock where he was living to like 200%, now he's at like 160. Oh, aggression. Yeah, I like that. Oh, my oh God. yeah. I mean, wow. he saw he saw the Mecha Koopa Lash and be like, okay, I can get a punish off of this. Let me go for like a smash up here. And then he saw the Holy Wire and was like, oh, you are super screwed. So let me go for down smash instead. Yeah, man. 